Hey, hey, Spring Lafe, Simply Tara. Okay, we're going to see what we get this morning for the sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your birth chart, then this reading may be for you. These readings are timeless. Someone's confused. Sometimes confusion comes from within. Yes. Seven of Swords. Confusion can be within our mind. Some, okay, someone has trust issues. And this has to do with the thought of marriage, the thought of like full commitment, yes. It's as if not commitment the word and not actually being committed to someone, but the aspect of relationship in general. Someone has a lot of trust issues with that thought. And that is keeping them getting in their head. This has to do with past heartache. Uh, relationships that went awry. That didn't um, go that distance. Um some where there was you know cheating basically third party you know that feeling of being left alone behind some of you with children but being all alone feeling all alone But it feels like that whomever you are, you have been been on your own for a while. You know, I would say at least a year or more. 
for some of you this is going to be more but but this still tends to come into your mind and it feels like some of you want to go forward with someone you you want possibly some of you would like to think about re, you know it feels like marrying someone or remarrying again in your life for those of you who have went through divorce for others it's you know really going to that complete relationship status um, full commitment you know but there's a fear there's fear that this or this or both because it's it's feeling like some of you had your heart broke some of you were left behind some of you had your heart ripped apart and were left behind it's just you know uh, for some of you you know there was trust issues with whomever uh, for some there was trust issues deceit um, yeah deceptive behavior lies cheating I'm getting all sorts of storms and I'm feeling a bit of a sense of poverty of not having enough uh, yes and I just got not being enough yes okay someone's someone is healing and it's like they're going through this these they're going through a healing but their mind keeps taking them back to there and there and to there of how it how it begins you know when you get with someone or even when you get married how does it begin you see how happy they look and that is scaring someone but with this hair font being here because this is love this is about love and there's a feeling someone is coming in or someone has came in or someone has caught this person's attention. You know, with the Hierophant being here, there's a sense of this person truly needs to heal. And once they heal, this mindset, you know, will start to fade. They need to let it go. Let it just fade away. Because there, there is something better. There's that feeling. Now this is someone who, well, this is several actually. This reading isn't just for one. But this, this, or these people I speak of, you know, they, they really hit low. They hit the bottom. Um prayers begging pleading and then you know that spot of of wondering why 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 me <coughs> sorry i'm getting my throat but you know the yeah why me why is this happening for some of the, some of you this was a shock when you found out that this was happening. For others of you, you lived it over and over and over again. It's like, you know, I'm talking about within the same relationship. For many of you, you've had several relationships where there was some form of something that just, it just did not, you know, it didn't work.
but there's a feeling of blessing coming. And it feels like many of you asked for a blessing because you hit that low. You, you knew you couldn't do it on your own anymore. It's like you reached and the heavens have heard you. A higher power has heard you. They, they have... You're, they've caught your tears. They've, they've heard the cries. They've heard, you know, within the tears, the pain, the sorrow. And it is time for a blessing, but this healing has to commence. It has to take place. You know, it's like a cycle is going to end, or for some has already ended. It's according to where you're at, going to be at in this. I mean, this could have already happened for you, but, you know, it feels like you're taking on this energy. And, you know, just so loving so kind and it feels like that has been taken for granted you know by so many or one according to who I'm talking to it feels like that what you have left behind that was untrustworthy deceitful uh, wherever you fall in that, you know, third party, you know, you made a decision, it feels like, about that partnership. And, you know, yeah, it feels like you turned your back on it because there was not equal give and take. One gave and one looked away. You see how he sits cold looking there's a feeling of cold and just sitting to himself as if no one else exists looking at the past looking at what he had as if there is better behind than in front where you were as if the past was better for him to see than his future with you and you know there's a feeling of hurtfulness with that pain immense pain but that that's where this healing has to take place and because something's ending and um, you know it's coming to the last stages it feels like and it's time to heal it's time to heal from this and some of you are going to think you've already healed to come come to find that there's more healing to be done now it, it, it can be quick but it has to be done for some of you it will be quick you know it's it's like once you do that, you know, after you, you come through this healing, it opens up so much in life to you. Doors open. Things look so different. You know, there's so much, it seems like, being offered. There's so much to choose from. There's just so much more. That's when you can really see, you see the eyes, the growth that you have made. When you can look back and you can see the lessons, but you can also see 
that you came through it and you're you're healed you're at peace that's when you see that growth that real growth that's when you receive your wish everything balances everything flows it's like perfect sync perfect harmony fulfillment ace of cups new beginning filled with so much love so much peace yet inner wisdom through learning everything you were supposed to learn even though you may have thought you learned everything you were supposed to learn you know realizing that your love for yourself and your you know seeing yourself the way you need to is enough not that you don't want someone in your life but this you know it's like you get to that you're getting to that point where you just you look in the mirror and you're happy you're alone but yet you're happy and you feel loved all of the time because you love yourself you feel happy because you make yourself happy you know that cycle is ending but a new one will begin that's where you need to see clearly that's 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 when you need to see clearly because something is coming to an end for some of you you know it's the healing taking place and you're going to have this new cycle begin for some of you a relationship that has not been going well well it's going to end and you're being told to see clearly see the path before you and stay on it don't let your vision be tainted don't let your mind be a blur you know there's um, a feeling that for some of you there's marriages ending uh, for some you know divorces taking place and there's a need to see clearly don't don't let yourself get blinded don't let yourself have to look through you know the dark side rather flow stay on your path and see everything clearly and keep the chatter from within your your mind because things are going to start moving they are going to start moving forward because we're ending a journey we're ending a cycle the divine is with you now for some of you for some of you that are going through something court related or something of that nature now this could be where say you weren't married and there was a relate you were in a relationship and something happened because I'm seeing the the fighting card as I call it um, and there's charges and you're you know awaiting that court date or something or other higher power you know um, as in judge lawyer something of that nature could be the police for some that are going through some form of like say divorce or child custody or such 
could be a judge, a lawyer, or the police, sheriff's department. You know, it, it could be either. And then for others of you, the divine. The, the divine is involved. They are watching over you, it feels like, for whom... Ever I'm talking to, and I'm talking to several. And this is where you're going to end up. Standing strong and standing tall. Pentacles looking good. Stability. Growth. Growth because you have came through so much, and yet you have grown as a person. You have learnt lessons you have taken from them and you are flowing yet there's a feeling that you're glowing and enjoying every moment of life being happy because you make yourself happy being loved because you love yourself feeling peace because you carry peace within And that is when some of you, some of you, who are looking for someone or who are awaiting a soulmate or a twin flame or you've asked for that, you know, that's when someone makes some sort of offer. Okay, now for some of you, for some of you, well, let me go ahead and tell you with that. Someone new makes an offer. A possible soul tie. You know, possible twin flame. After the death of whatever is ending. Yeah, see? But for some of you, this is someone who is feeling guilty. Who wants to apologize they want to give you an apology children may be involved the cycle ends and then that's when you take some time to really do some thinking do some it feels like you know really meditating on it Going within on what has happened. What do I want? Looking at your future. You know, looking at all your options that it feels like are opening up to you. Um, because you want this new beginning, this happiness, this, you know, abundance all the way around. After coming from a place where you felt like dying. You felt like someone literally ran over you or literally stabbed these swords into your back. A place where the burdens you carried got very heavy. Now, I feel like for many of you, not all, but many of you, you've asked for abundance. You've asked for stability because you come from a place of poverty. You come from a place of knowing what it's like to not have. Knowing what it's like to struggle to feed your, yourself or your family. Well, this feels like this is where you're heading. And this is what you had. Burdens and heartache. But justice is here. So, you know, it's like this cycle is, is ending. It's going to end. But. <laughs> things are going to balance. And it feels like they're going to balance in your favor. Because you have put forth that effort. You have put forth that hard work. And the divine has seen this. The divine has been helping. The divine has been encouraging. And. Some of you have been listening. And they know it. Some of you may be, okay, this is being point, pointed out for me too. 
mentioned. Some of you may be dealing with a fellow fire or um, oh well, you may be dealing with a fire sign, but um, air sign could be dealing with a Libra. Some of you may be. I'm also pointed out to say yes, you may be dealing with a water sign, possibly a Pisces um, or Cancer. Some of you also could be dealing with another Aquarius. Yes. But what you're looking at, because of your hard work, is moving forward. Not moving forward like this. Scared and not knowing what to do next. No. Moving forward, sitting tall, standing tall graceful moving forward to your victory it's your turn to shine yes then's when it can begin you know it feels like we might have had an offer back here for some of you and then for others of you, like I said, that's an apology. But there is definitely somebody coming in for many of you. Not all of you, but many of you. And it feels like for many of you also, you already know this person. No, not a terrible, terrible ex. Not this ex. Um, this could be a past life relationship though. Someone you have known before. Just not in this lifetime. Um, but there's going to be. <laughs> yeah. There's a feeling there's going to be love. Give. King of Pentacles. That's your person. Now. Well, yes. I'm getting very slow and not sure why but I'm getting it I seen a, um, a snail actually where's my card at right here this is where I seen it I remember seeing it in one of the other readings and there's a snail down there that's what just popped right back in my head. Someone that's coming in is rather slow. Because they've had their own bouts of heartbreak. And they're not rushing. They're slow, but they're steady. They're going to take their time. But it looks like they're holding you dear. They see your value. They see your worth. They see that you're glowing. And I feel like someone in this is gifted in some way. For some of you, more than one way. And um, someone speaks to the angels. Yes. Now I'm seeing the word dead. Someone uh, may be a medium. Yes. Oh, now I'm feeling too much energy. Okay, someone's empath. There's different gifts. Yes, yes. Yes, and it's like you need to make that choice to figure your gift out. Ask for help if needed. You need to figure this out. You need to move forward on your path. Your spiritual path. Because there's something, you know, you might can help other people is what I'm feeling. Is there any more? Is there any more? See there? Happiness. It's 
someone's watching someone and someone's wanting to come back okay this has to do with the apology someone wants to make something happy again not necessarily to be with the person in every you know one of these people's lives it's just going to be different but um it feels like there's coming a point in time when someone has to make a decision they have to make a decision yeah they're going to have to make a decision it's like someone walked away you know it's like someone's going to be left to make a decision about two it feels like I'm drawn to the two Yeah, it's between two people. Okay, some of you have been manifesting. You know, going forward. After someone walked away, this is the person who walked away for some of you. Taking on the King of Cups energy. Maybe a water sign. For some of you, not all of you. Please don't flip out in the comments. This is not for all of you. This is for some. You will know if you resonate with this. Your person will have strong water in their chart. But they left. They walked away. The tower fell. This person, they really looked at money. They looked at, um, they wanted money for something. And I, now I'm seeing the devil card. Some of them may have had addictions. Maybe why they wanted money. Well, for some of you, they want to work things out. They want to work something out. This is that person from the past for some of you. But that's when I feel like you taking on this energy. That's why that sword's here. You learned your lesson. <laughs> you healed. You learned your lesson. And you've moved forward past this, past this past, onto a, a new, new path. What you've been manifesting, a new beginning, happiness. That's what I got. Let's see what the romance angels, if they have anything to say. Ooh. Not sure if those are meant. Have to check them just to see. Yeah, they are. Oh, and the bottom one is too. Okay. Oh, that one is too. Okay, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Hence, soulmate. Strong, you know, connection. Very strong. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That belongs down here. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like this belongs somewhere around here. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And this one is where I'm not sure whether I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it because I feel like it's different for different people. For some of you, the person that you are letting go of was a soulmate for others of you the person that's coming in or is already in your life is a soulmate so it will go here attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully 
goes there with loving yourself. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Like I said, some of you, this may have something to do with custody or such. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And I just seen divine timing card. That tells me that someone's trying to control the outcome of something. And they're saying, no, this is on divine timing. You need to let them, you know, bring it about when it's time. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's what I've got. Tell you what, we'll see if they want to give us one of these. Do we need one of these? Do Aquarians need to meditate? Do Aquarians need to carry a gemstone? Do Aquarians need any of these energies? Aquarius. Okay, and that strength card fell for a reason. Because you need strength through this whole thing. And you have it within you. You may not realize it, but you do. We got green tourmaline. Beautiful card. Citrine. Beautiful. And amber. Love it. Let's see what our little book tells us. Green tourmaline. Green tourmaline. Let's see. Your true prosperity and success is measured by your spiritual wealth and treasures. It's beautiful. Stay on that path. Citrine. Citrine. Shine your golden clear light and reach for the stars. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. Amber, you are a child of light, dispelling the darkness in the world around you. Those are beautiful. If you don't have these gemstones or crystals or this amber, these energies will be with you if you claim this reading or if you claim parts of this reading. You have to believe, you have to have faith that the energies of these gemstones will be with you. And then carry that with you. Meditate with it if you meditate. You know, you can sit in a room with people and meditate. And no one even know you're doing it. You just have to learn how. I feel like several people, several people watching these Aquarius readings, they need to do a little bit of research on meditation. So that's what I've got. Give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube moves along. But overall, this is a beautiful reading. It's beautiful that someone is healing. It's beautiful that they are growing as a person. And it's beautiful that they have the possibility of doors opening. You know, all the so much possibilities that they can look at. And, it's, you know, they have the possibility of someone coming in. Now, I say possibility because our actions, you know, our actions can change things. You know, all this is doing is showing you a possibility. But what you choose to do can change things in a heartbeat. Um, just like trying to heal yourself and you can step back. You can make yourself step back. That's why you need to stay out of your head. You need to look at things and you need to heal. Cry. If you need to cry, cry. Let it out. But, you know, sometimes getting in our head too much can make us take steps back. Yeah. And thank you for all your support. Thank you for your comments. And have an awesome, awesome day.
Bye.